So before we move to drum mode, uh, a short remember. In normal mode, we have uh, four waveforms. Uh, one is called A, the second one is called B, third one C, the fourth one is a modulation wave. Uh, if you move pot A, you select wave tables on, on A, same on B, same with C, same with the mod wave. If you move the pot, you select different waveforms on modulation waveform. With the scan pot, you can fade between three positions from A to B to C. The modulation wave is affecting uh, A, B and C. And you can set the index of the modulation as well as the, as the frequency of the modulation. We can now switch to drum mode. You remember it's when you press the effect button and until you get the three LED lit on. And in drum mode, we don't have any more the A, B, C and mod wave uh, waveforms actually. So if you imagine a different layout on top, uh, you'd see this kind of layout. I decided to name it waveform A, decay from A, waveform C, decay from C. Like this, there is no uh, confusion between because of this scan A to C. Huh? We could name it waveform 1 and 2, but let's name it A and C. Okay, so if you are on B position, on the scan position, you are between both, actually. So I hear A, I'm going to, wow, it's very loud, I'm going to take a kind of hi-hat sound here, so A, mix between A and C, C, so you have perfect control via CV huh? over it, okay. So the effect is uh, affecting the second waveform, huh? not the first one. Okay, it's only on C. index pot is affecting only C. I'm going to show you. If I turn index, nothing happening on A. If I go on C and I turn index, it's adding some kind of noise. So if I, so you get more kind of a higher sound, huh? more noise. And of course, if you apply the effect on top, which changes the pitch, you have more effect. Huh? Now the frequency, you see, it doesn't really apply or affect C. It's affecting A. <laughs> so it gives more punch, punchy sound. Because actually, it's also changing the pitch of waveform A. We said it doesn't affect C, but if you were on C now and you're moving frag, doesn't affect it. But if you press three, the third effect button, now it's affecting also C. Okay, so it will affect both. The 
the effect buttons, the one, two, three buttons on my layout, they do not uh, apply any effect anymore from the effect section on A, B or C. They have different functionality, which I will show. Now, if you press one, then the decay of uh, waveform A is scaled according to pitch. We don't hear uh, much the effect, though if I open the frequency a bit, pot, you will hear it. Way more noticeable is if you press 2, because press 2 is giving way more body to A, to the waveform A. I'm going to show you. Do you hear it? We saw earlier when 3 is on, then it affects C. I mean, the freck is affecting C as well as A. A is affected anyway, you remember? But if you press, press 3, then C is also affected. As for now, uh, 4 has no effect, which, which will not do anything. Now, if you press 5, I'm going to show you. The amount of cross-modulation between the four oscillators affecting C is now modulated by the, by the envelope of C. Now, if 6 is on, then the pitch of C is no more affected by tune or voltage per octave, which would come here inside. Just for now, 7 has no effect, except that as in the other modes, it shows when you press it, it shows in, whim, in which mode you are, 3 being the drum mode. It will lit and just go off. Every time you press it, it's showing you the mode anyway, but it does not, no effect on the sound.